Welcome back to Train Simulator Classic, my friends, and today we are doing another American train race. And in this race, we've got a brand new locomotive, and we are going to test it to see how fast it really is. But I'm sure you guys will be able to point out who that engine is. But let's see who we are racing with today. So here we have today is the Union Pacific Challenger, made by Smokebox. The Union Pacific Big Boy, also made by Smokebox. One of my favourites, the Union Pacific 844, again, made by Smokebox. And we have Daylight, which is not Smokebox, obviously. The locomotive that most of you guys love and basically are familiar with, the New York Central Hudson. And our newest and latest member of the American collection is this. Now, some of you might be familiar with this engine, the Pennsylvania Railroad, the PRRS1. I'm just going to call it the S1 because, you know, it just shortens out the name and it makes it easy for me to remember. Now, the person who made this engine is the same person who made the New York Central Hudson. And if you guys want to uh, download these engines, because amazingly, the S1 and the New York Hudson, they are actually for free. And I'll leave a link to the website in the description below if you guys want to download the New York Central Hudson and the S1. Now, I've got to be honest, I am in fear of this engine because it is outrageous to look at i mean it looks absolutely insane it's got six little wheels at the front and then eight driving wheels and six more little wheels at the back and possibly the longest tender i have ever seen fitted to any steam engine ever because if we actually look above at all the other tenders the s1's tender is actually the longest and probably the biggest out of all of them which makes the s1 the longest steam train i've ever driven in train simulator ever and comparing it to the new york hudson it's a lot more pointier and more streamlined than the new york central hudson so and also look like you know it's a lot bigger but also actually no not also that's that, that's all i was gonna say and i know you're all asking the same question how fast does it go so that's what we're here to find out. So if you're new to the Leisure YouTube channel, why not click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well, so stay notified to the channel. And if you want to buy some Leisure Jet merch, check out the website. Link to that is in the description below. We have t-shirts, hoodies, sports bags, even cups. We've got Flying Scotsman merch. We've got Mallard merch. Or if you just want to buy something that says Leisure Jet on it with the YouTube play button, head over to the Leisure Jet website, buy your merch today. Right, you big American bunch. We're going to get you into your platforms and start the program, eh? Because we've got some serious racing to do. So, first of all, we want uh, to sort out the Union Pacifics, don't we? So, Challenger, you can go over here. I'm not sure you fit on the platform. <laughs> oh, no, you definitely don't fit on the platform. Uh, big Boy, we'll have you over here for Team uh, Union Pacific. And then the Union Pacific 844, one of my fa personal favourites, uh, can go there. Now, it is a bit of a... A tight fit but like uh, like you know I i'm sure it'll be fine and daylight will move you over here very nice and the super class 47 which will be driven by me i'll probably have you about there lovely the new york central hudson in there and as for the big one the s1 i move you uh will it actually work through these corners because these corners are actually quite sharp and i am not sure this thing will work because like you know this thing is a, this thing is absolutely massive i mean look at the size of it compared to the hudson i mean i, I thought the new york central hudson was big but no this, this, <laughs> i can't believe how big the s1 is that it's, it's absolutely nuts now for the programming so the s1 i will have you on platform one no that's two i want one and I think we should give you 120% power. Uh, he doesn't like that. Okay, how about just 100% power? He doesn't like that either. Oh, wait, I'm using the wrong engine, aren't I? <laughs> no, I'm, I want engine number five. That's why it's not working. Okay, uh, ignore that. It's quite normal. So, engine number five on platform one. 
There we go, and we want you on 120% power. There we go. So I've, I've fixed it. Engine number four will be on platform two, which is the New York Central Hudson. 120% power as well. And engine number six, which is daylight, will be on platform four, I think. Yes, it is. I'll have you at 120% power as well. Engine number seven, which is, I believe, the Union Pacific 844. You're on platform, what is it, platform six? No, platform five. So many engines to program. I've got 120% power. And big boy, which is engine number three, you must be on platform six. Yes, you are. We'll have you at 120% power as well. And last and certainly not least, the Union Pacific Challenger, which is uh, Loco, Loco 2 on platform 7. Here we go. We'll have you at 120% power as well. Good. So that's it. The programming is all done. Let's click play. Are you sure you want to save this? Yes, I do. Are we going to get racing? Yes, we are. And away they go. Uh, whistles are tooting. New York Central Hudson is well underway. And the Union Pacifics are looking good. Daylight is uh, starting off nicely. And the S1 is starting off very slow at the moment. It is not the fastest starter, but hey, it might catch up. We don't know. And also, the thing I'm worried about is because these tracks are quite close to each other, I'm worried I might accidentally bump into uh, daylight. So let's have a look and see how the engines are doing. It is cool, quite They're all bunched up at the moment, but hopefully maybe... Uh, that might make a difference, I'm not sure. But the Union Pacific 844 and Daylight are sort of bat battling it out now at the moment. I think Daylight is a little bit faster than, than the Union Pacific 844. But not as fast as the uh, Challenger or Big Big Boy's well ahead. I don't know. What the and the New York Central Hudson, uh, that, that thing's gone. I don't know where that, that, that loco's gone. So I'll try and find it. Um, oh, it's all the way over here. It's, it's already coming up to the level crossing. Oh, wow. That is, that is quite speedy. Like, we're not even, like, coming up to the first corner. And, like, the New York Central Hudson is already past the level crossing. So, the New York Central Hudson is in first place, followed by Big Boy, which is in second place. Now, who is in third place? Which looks like the Union Pacific uh, Challenger, followed by Daylight. Daylight's doing quite well. And the Union Pacific 844. But the big question is, where is the S1? The S1 is far, far behind and slow. Hmm. I have to be honest, the sound is a little bit glitchy at the moment. I'm having trouble with the game sound, which I don't know why. Because now the sound is like completely gone. There's no chuffing sound whatsoever. There's no there's not even sound for the um Superclass 47. But if I accelerate, and then if I break. We're having a bit of a sound glitch today. But daylight has passed the Union Pacific big boy. I have no idea where the um where the, where the New York Central Hudson is. is. Is that it at the front? Oh, there she is. The New York Central Hudson is well in the lead at the moment. Looking very nice. But the Union Pacific Big Boy is slightly slowing down, but not by much. But how are the others doing? Let's have a look at the uh, Union Pacific Challenger, the Union Pacific 844, and the S1. Oh, my God, the S1. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, the S1 is, is no longer... In last place, it just overtaken the Union Pacific 844 and the Union Pacific Challenger. And she's coming up, and she's coming up fast. If I look out my side window, we can see Big Boy next to us. And then coming up from behind us is the S1. And look at the speed of that thing. <gasps> oh, my God. How fast is she going? <laughs> oh, my God. How fast is that thing going? I mean, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a link speed. We're doing about 160 miles per hour. I can see daylight just up ahead. And I can also see just up ahead is the... Uh, New York Central Hudson, but the uh, the S1 is speeding up. It's gone way past 170 miles per hour. We're doing 100 175, and she's still speeding up. I'm about to pass daylight. This is actually interesting. We're, I think we're witnessing history here. Yeah. Oh, wow, that is amazing. Oh, the phone's going off. I really should put my phone on silent when I'm recording a video. I was doing 180, but I have slowed down now because we are coming up to the finish line. But the S1 is going at tremendous speed. I mean, we're going so fast, like, we've lost the sound effects in the game. That's never happened to me before. But I see the New York Central Hudson in the distance. Could we have a new champion for the first time ever in, like, Ladies Jet racing history? Can, can we actually beat the New York Central Hudson? How have we got a new champion? I don't know. This is actually going to be very close. Who's going to win, the New York Central Hudson 
or the S1? I, I, I don't know. I, I generally, generally don't know. But I think the New York Central Hudson has started to slow down a bit. But the S1 is also slowing down. But, you know, she's not, she's not far behind. So we're about to enter the downward spiral. Uh, here we go. Uh, in reality, that S1 would never be able to make it through these bends because that thing is too long for it to actually make any narrow turns. I mean, look, she's like half off the tracks. These will apply her brakes just a little bit. Oh, but is, I can see the New York Central Hudson up ahead. Who is it? Who's going to be the fastest? Is it going to be the New York Central Hudson? Is she going to keep her crown? Or is it going to be stolen by the S1? Let's find out. <laughs> Sound like a TV presenter. Let's find out after the break. No, thank, thank good, goodness there is no breaks. But there is an advert. Find out after this ad. Okay, so here we are in the station. The New York Central Hudson and the S1. Now, again, the sound is slightly glitched. I don't know why it's done that, but there we go. So if I apply my brakes, because I actually want to see who is going to stop first. It is, it is actually very close between these two. Who is it going to be? I don't know. But remember, the first engine to stop is the winner. And it is very close between these two. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be the New York Central Hudson? And it is. But the uh, S1 was very, very close. So the New York Central Hudson has still got the fastest speed and stopping distance, followed by uh, the S1. And in third place is Daylight. Looking very nice there, Daylight. I mean, it was close between these two engines, but the New York Central Hudson has still got it. But by the looks of it, I think it's all down to the Union Pacifics now. And the thing is, I think Union Pacific should stick to freight running than, uh, than racing. I mean, they didn't do that bad. But out of all of them, they were the slowest. But which Union Pacific is the fastest? Hmm. But by the looks of it, I think the Union Pacific big boy is actually the fastest. And who's uh, next after big boy? It is my personal favourite, the Union Pacific 844. And in last place is the Union, is the Union, Union Pacific Challenger. It's very struggling to say Union Pacific for a moment. Come on, Black Beauties, bring it home. Come on. Oh, they do, they do look absolutely fantastic. And I have to say, Smokebox makes some incredible American locomotives. I, I do have to say. I mean, Smokebox do, has done incredibly well making these amazing um, DLCs. So the fastest Union Pacific is Big Boy. Very nice there, Big Boy. And coming in next after Big Boy is uh, the Union Pacific 844. Ooh, a bit of a toot from, uh, from Big Boy. There we go. Oh, this looks amazing. I mean, we're getting a lot of lag at the moment, but there we go. I wasn't expecting less. And the Union Pacific 844 and then the Union Pacific Challenger. All parking up very nicely all next to each other. Lovely. Look at that. Lovely jubbly. Park it right now, old girl. Beautiful. I do love it when they do their little toots at the end. Like, I, I don't know how, how that works, but that, that is so cool. It's cool that they actually do that. But there we are, my friends. Another mighty American steam train race. The New York Central Hudson still holds her crown, but the S1 did extremely well. I think if we had a much more longer racetrack, I reckon that the S1 could actually beat the New York Central Hudson. But which American locomotive do you guys prefer? Do you prefer the Challenger, the Big Boy, the 844, Daylight, the New York Central Hudson, or the S1? Which one do you guys prefer? Leave your answer in the comment section down below let, so I can, like, you know, see your answers because like, I do like reading your comments. And also to the parents, if you're watching, make sure you leave a comment down below as well. Mums and dads do like my videos. But thank you again so much for watching, my friends. Make sure you click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. Buy some LazyJet merch on the LazyJet website. Link to that is in the description below. Thank you all again for supporting the channel. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys very soon.